This is my first time at Wells Sweep Farm. Um, it's a really important part of research and development. So what we do is we find these new, uh, these new farms, especially this one's an herb farm, and he just has so many different varieties of herbs. So it's important that we get to come here, we get to pick the herbs, we get to crush them, smell them, and find out what the aromas are, uh, and try to figure out where we can place this in a dish, or even come up with the concept of a dish given the herb, the aroma, its historic value. When you're stuck in the kitchen, uh, it's really easy to just kind of get stuck on your own philosophy and really not see what's outside of the walls. Uh, so it's really important to come out to places like this and to learn. What I do is, um, you know, I spend a lot of time at the markets, I spend a lot of time outside the city um, on farms and places like this, um, meeting people and finding out what it is they're passionate about. And then once I have an understanding of what Matt's really excited about, kind of as I go through, you know, my everyday life, you know, I kind of always have this filter on of, you know, being aware of things that Matt might be excited about and then kind of trying to bring him those things and helping to build a relationship around a shared sense of excitement and passion for these really beautiful food things. Well, Tara's going to be extremely seasonal to a point where we want you to go in there and really have a sense of the time of year, uh, the area we live in, uh, really bring that into the city. I think the number one thing about being in the Northeast is just going to be a full four seasons, you know, and in the middle and the dead of winter, really trying to get creative to see what we're going to use and what we're going to do. Um, and then in the summertime, be able to use all the bountiful uh, vegetables and fruits that we can. So it'll be a very good transition from season to season. We all know about tomatoes and carrots, but we don't know a lot about, you know, wild wood sorrel uh, and then different types of wild herbs that, you know, in Native American uh, days when that was a vital part of their diet, it was a vital part of being able to, of survival. Um, so I think it's really important, especially if we want to get in touch with the land, uh, to really not overlook those things.